Hello everyone, it's Lynette with Charm Granny Crochet. Uh, and welcome to <laughs> Charm Granny Crochet. Uh, I am sitting in a corner of the living room where my sewing machine is, uh, where my pro uh, projects go, where my scrap yarn goes. Uh, and right now it is housing two bags like this. And a big, huge box of yarn that I got from a friend um, who is destashing. That friend is Rosa, Rosalie from Yarn It Out. Uh, she has to destash. She has too much yarn and not enough space. And she doesn't have a lot of time right now. She's going through some stuff with her husband who's been very sick. So she doesn't have any crochet time. And she's like, I just got to, I got to get rid of. Um, so that's, that's where she's at. And she invited me to come over. Uh, she's having a yard sale. She invited me to come over pre-yard sale. And this is what I picked out with my granddaughter yesterday. Um, and I'm going to say, I know I don't need yarn. I know. Um, but a lot of the yarn that I purchased I'm blaming it on my granddaughter. <laughs> she fell in love with the Nako yarn. Um, this is it. And she's like, Grammy, you need to make me a blanket out of this yarn. So I bought every skein of this yarn and type of yarn that Rosalie had uh, to see if I could put together a blanket for my granddaughter, my second granddaughter. Um, and she knows that Chloe's blankets are, I'm working on those, uh, which if you guys are new here, you don't know, but, um, so I'll explain. But, um, so I do have lots of these in the boxes and this is 100% all because of Madison. So I'm throwing her under the bus for that. Uh, so I'd like to uh, take a minute to welcome all of my new subscribers uh, and thank all of my, uh, I don't want to say old subscribers, but <laughs> all of you that have been around for a while. Uh, I really 100% appreciate you all. I appreciate you watching and coming back time and time again and seeing what kind of shenanigans we're up to. Uh, this is... Um, this is, I'm sorry for Rosalie for having to uh, de-stash, but I'm so excited to get, to get her, her de-stashing and to share it with you all. Uh, so I kind of go through this kind of quickly, but I have a bin in a box over here. I wanted to kind of sort out the different types of yarns uh, that I picked up. Uh, hopefully I have space to do that here before I carry them upstairs, which is why I'm not in the yarn room. I have more space to sort down here than I do in the yarn room. Uh, so first we have uh, the NACO, as I talked about. Uh, it's 100% premium acrylic. Um, I'm trying to see if I can read what's on here. It's 100 grams, uh, 240 meters. Uh, everything is not written in English. <laughs> and uh, I think they consider this yarn a four weight. I can't tell. Um, and it doesn't have the uh, yards, so you have to convert yourself or the color. But this is teal, <laughs> and Maddie loved the jewel tones in this, and Rosalie had many of them. Um, but like those yarns, she had some unforgettable, very similar look at that. I think I have this color already. Uh, unforgettable is a red heart yarn. It's uh, they're saying four weight. This color is called Sunrise. It's three and a half ounces, 100 grams, 270 yards, 246 meters. Isn't that gorgeous? I think I might have this color, as I said. So I 
uh, and we're going to incorporate maybe some of what I have with the colors that Maddie likes the best. Uh, and then this unforgettable, and this color is called uh, Gossamer. Gorgeous. Um, let's see, I'm going to try to pull those all out. Here's a Nako in like a reddish, orangish, red orange maybe color. The yarn is soft. I hope Manny likes it in a blanket. I don't know that it's like blanket kind of yarn, but I did really quickly uh, try to Google some uh, blanket patterns on Ravelry with this yarn. There weren't any. Uh, another Gossamer. Then this is Nako in the gold. I really love that. And I think it would go really well with some of the other colors in here. Um, and I think I have this color. This is Lion Brand Landscapes. I think I'm gonna try to arrange these ones. I don't know, <laughs> at least. Uh, and this one, same kind of stats. Uh, I think three and a half ounces, 100 grams, 147 yards, 134 meters. Um, so the Unforgettable, uh, I think has more on it than the Landscapes does. This color, I'm, I'm not even showing it to you, is called Twilight. And um, this, they show you what it looks like when it's worked up. And I think you could probably put that gold with, with that one. And I have, let's see, I have a lot of these. Um, Nico in like a purpley color it has a little bit of a halo on it and it's not like a it's way different than what you would consider like a, a, a it's a different texture than like red heart super saver it's got a sheen to it if you're unfamiliar with it it's soft it's sleek like slippery uh, I, this Nako is in silver. I like the jewel tones of these. They're all very jewel toned. This Unforgettable is very muted purples and grays, and it is called Pearly. I love this color. Let's see, Unforgettable is down on this side. Uh, let's see what else we got here. This is a different uh, Nako in white cream I'm gonna say it's more like a not bright white I, uh, I'm gonna say it has a little well yeah it's whiter than what it looks in there and then another purple and another gold Oh, here's another color. We got another white one. And then we have, look at this pretty pink. It's a uh, pale pink. Just not getting the best lighting here. I like that one. Then there's more at the bottom, but I gotta get through some of these other colors of other yarns first. Um, so somebody really loves this. So I thought I would try it and so I bought what she had. This is called Feels Like Butter. I don't think I have any of this yarn. I have a similar yarn, but I don't think I have any of this. And this is um, by Lion Brand. It is, um, this is called a bonus bundle, so it's big. It is 9.7 ounces, 275 grams, 590 yards, or 540 meters. It's a four weight. And this color is called Blossom. It is 100% polyester. So this is a pale pink. This one is also Blossom. I'm going to see if I can't put the Blossoms up here. Uh, then I have another one, but this is a lighter pink. This is more pink pink. This is more purpley pink, darker pink. I like them together. Uh, this color is called 
pink. <laughs> the other was blossom. This one is pink. Then we have some of it. I have three skeins, it looks like. In white. Just white. And it is called white. And I think there is another... Looks like just one. Yep. Another one in the um, blossom color. If I had the shade open more, I don't know if that'll help or hinder the colors here. And I pulled it down before I started because I didn't think it was doing any good. Okay, then. Um, I got different colors of these. This one, I got some Sugar Wheel Cotton from Yarn Bee. I love this yarn. It's so pretty. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with Sugar Wheel Cotton, this one has a sparkle in it. Um, this is from Hobby Lobby. It's a Hobby Lobby yarn. It is five ounces, 142 grams, 335 yards, 306 meters. It's 97% cotton. 3% metallic and they classify this as a three weight and look at that isn't that beautiful uh, this color is called twirls at twilight and I believe I have some of this so it can add to my colors you know add to my stash uh, to make something bigger uh, let's see this color is called pretty please oh I'm right in your face uh, these are the same. Yeah. And they have the sparkle in them. And it's just such a soft, nice cotton. I don't know why Maddie didn't want a blanket out of that yarn. Because that would be a great yarn for blankets. For a summer weight blanket. Now I think... Oh, wait. I have one of these... I think uh, this is Sugars and Cream Cotton. Um, I think you're all familiar with it. This color is called Hot Green. And I believe, oh, it's got a piece of fuzz on it. <laughs> I believe my good friend Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming just said that she ran out of this color and needed some. And I saw one skein of it there, or the, um, so I grabbed it and threw it in my box. So I think Laura just said she needed that color. Now, I think everything else in this box is the Nikos or the Unforgettables. Um, because as I found them, I'm like, oh, well, there's just one more. Throw it in there. Oh, one more. Throw it in there. So I've got another and two more of the blue. I kind of want to like, put them together in the box. Um, I don't think I showed you this color before. I'm looking. Nope, I don't have this one in my box already. This is a definite mauve. It's definitely mauve. Different than the other colors that I had showed you. Um, yeah. Oh, another gold. Some more of the really light pink. I did bring my uh, bags down to separate. You know how I bag all my yarn and so I think I'm gonna be able to put these in by color and more of the white another one of this deep purple um, so I told Maddie we'll go through we'll look at ooh this is even a deeper purple ooh, oh, oh that one's right up my alley Another silver, another white, and another, I think this is the Unforgettable in the color Sunrise, which I already had one of those down here at the bottom. Um, Another silver, another gold, another 
of the pinky, two different pinky colors that you've seen already. Over there. Whoa, oh, it's all over. This one is coming out and coming apart. It's being bad. Let's see if we can squish it back into the ball band. Well, it's a mess, but it's still there. <laughs> it's it's done some traveling. Um, so we got another of that beautiful dark purple, another of that purple, some more of the blue. I think the blue was Maddie's favorite color out of them. down to the bottom of the box here. Oh, that one's different. Another of the dark red, another of the dark purple. Oh, shoot, that red was underneath the dark purple. And, let's see. Some more of the pinks. And another sunrise. And I found this one, which, Manolia, never saw this name before, but the colors are gorgeous. Look at that, that's beautiful. Uh, again, it, this does not have a color name on it. It says it's 100% acrylic. It, this is considered a three weight, um, whereas the others were saying four. It's all the same yarn though. Um, this is 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, 240 meters, 262 yards. And this is the only one of this Minarla, Minarla? like Crayola, but Minarla. <laughs> anyway, I got that pretty color. I think the. And in the box, there is one more of the Blossom. So I have four Blossom, three white, and one light pink in this one, in this yarn. That feels like butter, and it's going to fall off there. Oops, down. Yarn down. No, I'm going to put those back in this big box because they take up a lot of space. And I can get that box out of my way. Uh, I have to keep an eye on the time. So I have an entire bin of this Nako and it's similar yarns. And then I have these two bags, so let's see what we get. Let's see what's in the bags. I think it's cake yarn. Well, I believe I got three of this color. Uh, this is Karen Cotton Cakes. I love cotton cakes. Um, this is called Country Romance. It's got all kinds of colors in there. It reminds me of like pale wild, wild, wild flowers. But do you see this on the... I wanted to make this. Um, so I think the um, pattern is on the label. But I've always wanted to try it, and they show it in this yarn, so that's kind of cool. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So this is 60 cotton, 40 acrylic, 8.8 uh, .8 ounces, 250 grams, 530 yards, 485 meters of a four-weight Karen cotton. And again, this color, or if I didn't tell you yet, Country Romance, I did tell you. So I got one of those. I got more than one of those, but... Oh, huh. oh, more unforgettable. This is the sunrise color again. Um, I got a couple of these. This is Roll With It Sparkle. Look at that. These two are the same color, I think. Um, magic, yep. 
And if you're unfamiliar, this is 100% acrylic um, and 3% other fibers. 5.29 ounces, 150 grams, which is 561 yards, 513 meters. So I got two in the magic color. I, I love sparkle yarn too, so I stole all of her sparkle yarn that I could find. Uh, two more, pretty please. If we can kind of sort them by color back here. Um, oh, here is another sunrise. Glad I didn't get rid of the box. <laughs> here are a couple of, this is uh, unforgettable, and this color is called Sea Red. Look at that. Gorgeous. This color is called uh, Twirls at Twilight, another one of those. And here's another one of those, I think. Yep. Let's move this green out of the way. Um, let's see. Twirls at Twilight and Pretty Please. They just have really pretty colors in them. They look one's more passed on, one's a little bit brighter. Then I found, um, I think there's three of these. This is, I love this yarn, metallic. And this is also a Hobby Lobby yarn. This is five ounces, 142 grams, 252 yards, 230 meters in the color Grapette. I know I don't have, I'm pretty sure there was only three. But, you know, purple and sparkle. How could I pass that up? Oh my goodness, there's a lot more of these um, in here. Uh, sunrise, I think these are both sunrise. Yep, two sunrises. Um, oh, this is a new color. This is Super Save, or Red Heart, Unforgettable. This color, I don't think I pulled out of there already, is, I'm gonna have to resort the sorted of this. Um, oh yeah, Gossamer, I had that color already. Uh, this one is Red Sea. We just had that color. Oh yay, that really pretty purple and grays tones. Uh, this color is called Pearly. Two more of those. And then, she, you know, with the salad. Oh, here's another one. Another of the Pearly. Love that color. I think this one is, yep, another Sunrise. Boy. Uh, these are both Red Sea. This one, up oh, Red Sea, uh, Sunrise, oh man, there's a lot of those. Uh, this one I think is Gossamer again, yep. I am, I'm going to have to resort the sorted. More Red Sea. Oh. These are both Red Sea. And finally, in this bag, another Red Sea. It's got just some really gorgeous colors, like every color. <laughs> Pinks and purples and blues, gray. Like where they blend together, it turns a little bit gray. Okay, that's bag number two, or bag number one. Box one, one box, bag one. Let's see if I can get this other last bag open here. I don't think that there's more of this 
no unforgettable type of yarn they go uh, the solids I could mix with these beer you know self striping okay I'm gonna have to rip the bag I really didn't want to do that but a lot of time constraints here okay so then I have this is more Karen cotton cake um I have this color so uh, it's called amethyst sky so adding to it I thought was a good idea I think that's the only one of that color um, and you can see this better this is, oh this is uh, fruit tropics Here's, look at this side it's I thought these two were the same color this one and this one um, we were just kind of pulling them out of bags but they are two different colors I like that one two to three one better ah here's another of the first color uh, country romance so let's put those two together what else we got here? Oh, here's another cotton cake of the tutti free one, I think. Yeah, oh, fruit, fruit Tropics. So two of each of those colors of the Karen cotton cakes. Then we've got um, several of these. These are Candy Shop in the Premier in the purple. Um, this color is called, I can't read it on there, Nerds, I think. Yeah, Nerds. <clears throat> it's purple, it's four weight, 260 yards, 238 meters, five ounces, 140 grams. This is a Premier yarn, and it is, I'm pretty sure, 100% yep, acrylic. I'm getting fibers in my nose and I've got a few of these in the purple we grabbed all the purples that that she had so here's four and five I think five of those uh, Boggy Creek here we go uh, let's see then we had I got several of these comfy cotton in this brown color called Mochaccino, Mochaccino. It's a three weight yarn. Uh, it's cotton, comfy cotton blends. I've made um, bags out of this yarn and I like the brown for the bags. Um, I've made, you know, I've used this on bags, but I, for four bags, this color is great. Uh, and I've used this color in the bag. Seven ounces, 200 grams, 392 yards, 358 meters. Um, I'm going to throw this in this box. I've grabbed several of those. Uh, here's two. Again, for making bags to go with what I have. Three. I didn't take all of them because I do have a couple at home. And I'm like, enough, enough. Got four of those and one in blue, which I don't think I've ever even seen it in blue before. The blue is called Spectrum. Um, I really that's my only blue of that. I I don't like I said I don't think I ever saw it before. Then she had um one of these. This is cookie yarn. Uh this yarn is uh not a color name on here that I can see. Uh, it's 100% acrylic. It's a five weight, 200 grams, 600 meters. It doesn't give you ounces. Uh, and I think this is from Hobium Cookie Yarn. I think. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but I believe that I have this color from Rose, from Rose Likes Crochet. I'm pretty sure she gave me a, a cake of this in this color. So I was like excited to get another one because I haven't used the one she gave me yet. Um, 
it's wonderful soft beautiful yarn I love it I have a lot of yarns that are soft beautiful yarns that I love and I haven't been able to use yet so that's going in that box and then I did acquire one oh there was only one of this yarn be sugar wheel look at that oh my god isn't it gorgeous I just love the bright colors uh, this is 100% acrylic, 7 ounces, 199 grams, 355 yards, 325 meters. <gasps> love, love, love it. It is soft squishiness. I know it's not enough to make a blanket with, but maybe you could center a blanket and then solids to go around it. That's what I'm thinking for Boggy Creek. Um, if you don't know Boggy Creek, that is, uh, and, and we're starting, so I have, soon, so I have to really talk about this in another video, and that'll come out soon. But Boggy Creek is a, um, uh, camp in Florida, uh, that was created by Paul Newman and others, and it is a camp for children with chronic illness. And they have doctors and nurses and um, everything, in a hospital there, on the, you know, a small little hospital there on the campus. It's wonderful. We're going to collect blankets again with uh, Nancy from She's Got Yarn 2 and Billy from The Crafty Floridian and myself. Um, and uh, we collected last year, I think, 360 blankets. Uh, so this year we're doing that again, and I'm going to do a whole separate video on that. Um, coming up here in the next couple of days. So I got these. I think there's only three. This is Bernat Handy Crafter Cotton. It reminds me of a kitchen cotton, but I just love the colors. Um, and so I took it. It's This one is called Playtime. It's They're small, but it's uh, 40, 42 and a half grams, uh, one and a half ounces. Approximately 62 meters or 68 yards. Um, I'm trying to see where it says what it's made out of. It's a four weight. I think it's 100% cotton. Yep, 100% cotton. And so I think I have three of those. <clears throat> Just because I found the colors to be beautiful, fun for your kitchen. And then I think there's four, six, four or six of these. Same yarn, different color. Um, this color is called, see all the pretty colors in there? Uh, this color is called, sure, Fleur de Lavender. And so I think there's five or six of those. And that is it. That is everything that I got from Rosalie. Um, she is having the garage sale this weekend. I told her if she really needs to get rid of it, you know, let me see. Call me if she's got stuff left, and I will see if I will take it off her hands or not. She doesn't, she's allergic to wool like me, so she doesn't have any wool. <laughs> so I knew going through her stash was going to be a fun thing. There was going to be nothing that I was going to be leery of using. Um... So that's it, guys. That was the yarn haul from um, pretty much a, a Rosary, Rosalie's garage sale. I have an entire bin of this type of yarn now, so there's plenty for Maddie to make a decision uh, when the time comes as to what she wants her blanket to look like. Um, I don't know. I, I I hope that she likes a blanket made out of this yarn because it's kind of a weird yarn for blankets, I think. Uh, there was one pattern, I think, on Ravelry that I saw. I typed in unforgettable blankets. I probably didn't use it right, Ravelry. Uh, and I'm probably going to seek out Laura from Mammy's Crochet and Farming. She's much better on Ravelry than I am. Um, <clears throat> and ask her to help me search patterns to see if there's a few that are specifically uh, blank, you know, and I didn't go to any of the yarn websites either to see if they had blankets, you know, or what they showed made out of these yarns specifically. Um, 
I just I ran out of time for that yesterday. But I've got plenty for making blankets or anything. <laughs> um, anyway, that's it. I got to go. Uh, I got to leave for work in five minutes. So this worked out really well. I at least filmed and um, we can do the editing later. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for liking and subscribing and sharing and hitting the bells and the buttons and all of that and the thummies. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to have my work cut out for me bagging this stuff up. I have my little bags and I like to keep it's crinkly. Um, but the bags, people ask. So real quick, I'm going to show you. This is the bag that I keep my yarn in. Uh, and I get them from Amazon. And it's called Spartan Industrial Premium Quality. These are 12 by 15 clear self-seal bags. And I, um, I buy them in packs of 200. The whole thing is on there, I think. So, they do crinkle, but they do also keep my yarn nice and um, together and all that. So, that's it. I've got to go. I've got to fly. Bye.